Hey everyone, I have a new little project to show you. First I'm going to start by showing you the my breadboard here and the circuit that I've wired up. First thing you'll see is I have my Gadgeteer extender module. And then this funky looking thing here is a photoresistor. Now you may have heard of a phototransistor. This is a little different. A, a phototransistor acts more like a switch where depending on if the light is on or off, um, it acts as a switch turning on or off. Also here I have just a 1K resistor and I'll explain why that's there in a second. So what this circuit is doing is uh, power is going into it from our 3.3 volt input here. It's flowing through the circuit and eventually it's going to hit this photoresistor. And what happens is, is that as a resistor it's resisting the flow of electricity. And what happens when light bombards these little squiggly things here, I don't know if you can see that, but um, when light bombards these little squiggly heads, um, it reduces the resistance. So in a very bright room, um, we're going to get almost the entire 3.3 volts coming back into our pin here. Um, whereas in a completely dark room, um, we'll get almost no, no value whatsoever because it's resisting almost all the 3.3 volts. Now the reason I have this resistor here wired up in the way that I do is because that creates what's called a, a signal or a voltage divider. And the best way I can describe the purpose of that is um, it acts kind of as a scale for our voltage in. So if I were to just take this photoresistor here and hook it up straight from, the, um, from, our, from our voltage in to our pin, I would probably see only a variance of about maybe half a volt. So if I were to read the value, I would maybe see something like 2.4 as my ceiling and 2.1 as my floor. And so there's not really a lot of room to judge, you know, how much light or darkness is in the room. You may want that for some applications, but for the most part, you want to know the difference between a bright room and a dark room. So by adding this resistor the way I did in this circuit and creating this signal divider, I'm able to scale that signal down to something more like what we would expect where, um, you know, zero is the bottom and 3.3 is the top. So it's a really simple circuit. You can, you know, none of these components are very expensive. They're very cheap components. So if you watched um, the previous videos on how I wired this up, um, you can do this you know, pretty cheaply. Um, so let me show you the demo I did um, based on reading these values. <coughs> what I have here is I have a little, um, what I'm calling my, my e-reader. And right now you'll see that um, we have a white text on a relatively black background. And what I wanted to do to demonstrate this is I wanted to create this feature I'm calling auto contrast. So if I have my e-reader and I'm in a, um, relatively bright room like I am now, um, then I get sort of a black background with white text, which is a lot, it's a lot easier to read under direct sunlight, okay? Um, but if I'm in a really dark room, I may want more backlighting and I want the text to be black. So what we're able to do is, based on our value coming in here from our photoresistor, we can do that. So if I take this light here, my little lamp, and excuse me, flip this away, you'll see on the screen that it'll start to change its what I'm calling contrast to the point where if I turn it off, it goes now to a white background with black text. And all of this is done simply by reading our value from our photoresistor. And it's measuring how much light is in the room and then based on that value, we're changing the, the text color and the background color. And it actually has some kind of stepping. And you probably saw that earlier when I was moving the lamp around. But if I, I bring the lamp back over here and bring this down, now I'm going to move the lamp. And you, you should see it. It's kind of hard to see on camera. But you'll see that it'll, um, it'll start to change there. So it's a little less black. And there it switched completely. And all of that, you know, you can adjust however you want. I just threw this together in a demo. So that's pretty much it. The code is very simple. I will put a link to the code in the description. 
And um, let me know what you think. And if you have any questions or anything, just uh, go ahead and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel and see what I do next. Thanks.